Welcome to Every Fact Ever. Like and subscribe for more amazing facts. This is 50 Facts About Stars. Fact number one. There are 10 billion trillion stars in the entire universe. That's a one followed by 22 zeros. That's a lot of zeros. I mean, if you counted all the grains of sand in the entire world, it wouldn't even come close to the number of stars that fill the universe. The Milky Way, Earth's galaxy, has only 200 to 400 billion stars, thus making up less than 1% of 1% of 1% of 1% of the entire number of stars in the universe. Fact number two. The colour of a star is determined by its temperature. Although it's easy to assume that the colour red would mean the hottest temperature for a star, it's actually the reverse. Blue-white stars are the hottest. Their surface temperature can reach up to 11,000 Kelvin, making it far hotter than any other colour. Fact number three. The North Star was important for medieval alchemists. These medieval alchemists believed that the North Star had the answers to unlock all of the secrets of the universe. Due to its relatively permanent position, it was often used as a location reference point during medieval times too. Fact number four. The Orion Nebula, the one we can see from Earth, has produced new stars three times in its history. A nebula, plural of nebulae, was the origin of the star. In a nutshell, it's a dusty cloud made up of different gases. Whatever materials are left behind once a star has been created is used to make the new planets, like Earth. Fact number five. Ancient Greeks believed that the stars actually revolved around the Earth. This belief was actually called geocentralism. It was a standard belief, so much so that the church used this idea until it was debunked. Fact number six. In astronomical standards, if a star's age is two million years old, it's still considered to be young. It takes thousands of years before a star is born and almost a million years before it settles into its actual form. Our sun is considered a young adult when it comes to its age. Fact number seven. Our sun is around 4.6 million years old. But don't panic, it's not even halfway through its expected lifespan, so there will be several generations before the sun burns out. Based on scientific estimations, the sun will actually survive for the next 10 million years. Fact number eight. There are supergiants that are 100 times larger than the sun. Our sun is actually considered to be a dwarf when it's compared to the other stars, but its size is actually perfect, being the size that has allowed life to flourish around it. If it was even a little bit bigger, the Earth would not have existed. Fact number nine. One in every four Americans still believe that the Sun orbits the Earth. This finding demonstrates that around 25% of the American population are wrong on how they think the Sun moves. This number is quite large and is possibly down to conspiracy theories. Fact number 10. One in every five Americans doesn't know the difference between astrology and astronomy. Astrology is a pseudoscience and it uses the stars and other heavenly bodies to make sense of events that happened in the past or will happen in the future. On the other hand, astronomy is the study of the heavenly bodies. Most Americans think that that is astrology. Fact number 11. The sun comprises of 99.86% of the total mass of the entire solar system. The estimated mass of the sun is 1.989 times 1,030 kilograms, or 333,000 times heavier than the Earth. The mass of the Sun is also called a solar mass, the unit of measurement used to measure the mass of other stars. Fact number 11. Scientists hypothesize that if you could taste the dust from the nebula, it would taste like raspberry. This is because raspberry and the dust from the nebula have almost the same chemical compounds, but it has more of an earthy taste, almost like rust. Fact number 13. If a nebula has 6% less mass than the Sun, it will not become a star. The Sun is the origin of the planet's solar system. If the Sun lost 6% more mass, it would become just like Earth. Fact number 14. Stars are given different meanings in astrology in different cultures. A star is synonymous to a big dream that is difficult to achieve and only a few can do so. In Eastern culture, a star is a representation of love. Just like looking for a loved one who may not be near you, you can gaze up towards a star and feel their presence no matter how far away they are. You get an instant ease and comfort from doing so. Fact number 15. Every star that you see at night is part of the Milky Way. The Milky Way is our galaxy and it is composed of billions of stars. We are only seeing a small percentage of it. Some galaxies are too far away to be seen by the naked eye. At times, depending on the weather, one or two stars from other galaxies can be seen. Fact number 16. There are only two elements that compose a star, 
hydrogen and helium. There is no solid component in a star, not even in its core. It is only made up of gases and plasma. Even its hot molten core is just plasma. Fact number 17. In 4 billion years, the Milky Way will collide with Andromeda. Andromeda is the nearest galaxy to us and is located millions of light years away from our galaxy. Based on the movement of our galaxy and Andromeda, there will be on a collision course which will form an even larger galaxy. Fact number 18. A star is considered dying if its energy production is slowing down at a steady rate. A star can take up to 4 billion years before it uses up its energy and it is considered a dead star. There has been no record of a fully dead star yet. Most of the discoveries are only dying stars. Fact number 19. The first person who theorised that the Earth was rotating around our star was Atastaros of Samos. But he was ridiculed by the people because his theory was considered absurd. Even though scholars at the time believed that the Earth was the centre of the universe and all heavenly bodies revolved around the Earth. Fact number 20. Annie Jump Cannon is the record holder for discovering the most stars. She discovered more than 350,000 stars in her lifetime. She was actually deaf due to her childhood sickness, but it didn't prevent her from doing great work in her field. Fact number 21. The earliest recorded female astronomer is Hippotea of Alexandria. She was a well-known woman at the time, primarily because of her wide knowledge. She also was a great teacher. She taught scholars of different ages about philosophy, astronomy and math. Fact number 22. When Copernicus asserted that the sun was the centre of the solar system, he found an unlikely ally within the astrology field. The church branded him an antichrist because the church believed that his belief was against the teachings of the Bible. Astrologers, however, found it easier to do their fortune telling with the new information regarding the solar system. Fact number 23. Do not be a victim of star scamming. Naming a star should only be done through the IAU. Although there are countless star naming websites, with some charging as little as $20 to do so, none of these are recognised by the scientific community. Hence, your purchase is pointless if you haven't actually named the star. Only the International Astronomical Union, the IAU, is allowed to give names to heavenly bodies. And there is a scientific process that has to be followed when naming one. Fact number 24. The star with the smallest amount of mass has the longest life. This is because the larger the star, the faster they burn out their hydrogen core. But don't fret, we're talking about millions of years before the largest star will reach its midlife. Fact number 25. There is a document listing all of the heavenly bodies observable by the naked eye. Although you might argue that you can see thousands of stars at night, without a telescope, most of these objects are too small for you to know exactly what you're looking at. There are only 109 heavenly objects that you can properly observe as an amateur. Fact number 26. Fact number 26. According to renowned astrophysicist Carl Sagan, the Sun is just a mediocre Sun. Due to its size relative to the majority of the stars, it is not small enough to be an actual dwarf, but it is not actually big. But this mediocrity allowed life to flourish and for other planets to exist. He also thought there was much more to galaxies than we know. Fact 27. Pulsars are heavenly bodies that look like stars, but they're not. Pulsars pulse continuously. The pulsing effect is evident when you observe it through a telescope. It is the size of a city, but it's so dense that it has the mass equal to the mass of the sun. Fact 27. There is a black hole in the middle of our galaxy. It is because of the collapse of Sagittarius A, one of the largest stars in our galaxy. Based on the assumptions of scientists, it has a mass equal to 4.3 million times the mass of the sun. Fact 29. The nearest star to the Sun is 4.2 light years away. Proxima Centauri is the name of this star and it appears in the southern constellation of Centaurus. This low mass star was discovered by Robert Innes in 1915. Fact number 30. The supernova phase happens before a star becomes a white dwarf. Since the fuel at its core is almost depleted, it will burn faster until it explodes. It will then emit light one last time until it fades away into the darkness. Fact number 31. Red dwarf stars are burning red coloured gases giving it its colour. Compared to other stars with different colours, red dwarfs burn off their core at a much slower rate. Therefore they live significantly longer lives than other stars of different colours. Fact 32. Hypergiants are a thousand times larger than supergiants. Eta Canary is a hypergiant and it is the largest star in our galaxy. By comparison, if it was as big as a baseball, our sun would be a tiny dot. Fact number 33. On a clear night, you can see approximately 19 quadrillion stars. 
Due to the clouds and the lights coming off the buildings and other structures, it significantly decreases the number of stars we can see at night. However, if you go near the equator during the summer, in a remote area far from cities, you can see a sky full of stars. Fact 34. A star's temperature is measured in Kelvin. 1 Kelvin is equal to minus 272.12 Celsius. The lowest temperature is 0 Kelvin, also called absolute zero. It is the point where molecules stop moving. Fact 35. Most of the stars we are seeing now are memories of the past. It takes millions of years for a star's light to reach the Earth. Therefore, if we observe the stars right now, that light has been travelling to us for millions of years from a different time. Fact 36. Contrary to popular nursery rhymes, stars do not twinkle at all. Just like our sun, they just continuously emit light. The twinkling effect is due to our atmosphere and the distances of the stars from our planet. Planets do not twinkle either, they are not affected by our atmosphere. Fact 37. 90% of the stars are named after Greek or Arabic people, mythological creatures or astronomers. It was mainly because most early astronomers were either Greek or Arabic. It is only in modern times with the establishment of space governing bodies that we have modern names for stars. Fact 38. While we have mentioned stars burning off their cores, we don't mean that it literally burns its core. They actually transmute hydrogen into helium. This transmutation varies from one star to another. The transmutation process is dependent upon the star's colour and size. After transmuting to helium, it will then transmute into other elements, forming other heavenly bodies in the process. Fact 39. Only big stars can produce a black hole when they die. A black hole is a region in space where the gravitational field is so strong that even light cannot escape. 3.5 billion years away, the binary pair OJ287 has the recorded largest black hole up to this date. Fact number 40. It is impossible to extinguish a star. In theory, if you were to use water to extinguish a star, it would only shine brighter. It is because you are not extinguishing an actual fire. What you want to do is to release its hydrogen before it collapses. Fact number 41. There are no green stars. Although green is part of the colour spectrum, it is an unusual mix with other colours, so there is no established star yet that emits a pure green colour. Some claim to have seen one, but it is primarily because of other factors such as the atmosphere and the position relative to other heavenly bodies. Fact number 42. New stars are actually called protostars. They are born in nebula nurseries or a dense cloud until clumps of forms that eventually become a star. The Orion Nebula is one of the most observable nebulae that can be seen using an amateur telescope. Fact 43. Galaxies are moving away from us. It is observed that galaxies, especially those furthest away from us, are moving further at a much faster pace. Galaxies are moving away from us, but their light is still coming towards us. Fact 44. Although it might look like stars are sitting next to each other in the sky, there are actually millions of light years of space between them. Most stars exist in a binary system but their so-called twin star is actually far away. For example, if the sun is in New York and was the size of a golf ball, the nearest star would be in Atlanta, or 1,200 kilometers away. Fact 45. There are tiny star-like heavenly bodies that are so dense they're called neutrons. By comparison, a teaspoon of neutron component is as heavy as 900 pyramids of Giza, but they're also hotter than most stars. A neutron, although way smaller than the sun, is a thousand times hotter. Fact 46. Before a star dies, it will go through an explosive process. First, it will explode to form a supernova, then it will be reborn into a white dwarf, and it will emit its final light until it fades away into the darkness. Fact 47. There is a star that can be seen by the naked eye located 19 quadrillion light years away. Deneb, in Sinus Galaxy, is the furthest star that is visible at night but only at set times of the year. Given the perfect night conditions, Andromeda and Trinagum galaxies can also be seen in some parts of the world. Fact 48. The most common stars are red dwarfs. They make up three quarters of the stars in the Milky Way. They also do not explode when they die. Fact 49. A brown star is actually a failed star. It didn't become a proper star because it didn't reach the required temperature to become one. It is also not considered as a planet because it emits its own dim light, just like an actual star. Fact number 50. A group of stars that form an image is called a constellation. There are 88 official constellations recognised by the IAU. The earliest mention of a constellation was in a poem written by a Greek poet in 270 BC. 
and that's 50 facts about stars. Thank you for watching and remember to like and subscribe for more amazing facts. If there are any subjects you would like us to cover in future, please leave a comment down below. And if you still haven't had your fact fix, try watching some of these videos.